The number one key finding is the very enormous need for high-level support in developing the policy. This is because you need several government ministries and departments to develop and implement the refit policy correctly. You need the Ministry of Energy, you need uh, the Ministry of Environment, you need the Ministry of Agriculture if you're going to be doing biomass, um, you need the Ministry of Water if you're going to be doing small hydro, you need the Ministry of Finance because the Ministry of Finance decides what tariffs should be implemented and how the payments are going to take place. And in order for all those ministries to come together, and as is often the case in different countries, ministries are very political. In order for all of them to come together and work together, the high-level political support is imperative. Similarly, you need broad stakeholder engagement. Who are the stakeholders? You have government, you have private sector who are possibly going to do um, the project development or are going to develop the technologies or are going to do the contracting work. You need civil society who represent the interests of communities. You need the voice of the community to be heard. Because if you develop a feed-in tariff that is exceptionally attractive to investors, but prices out a significant portion of the population, then it has not been a successful um, policy. So you need to hear from every one of those um, members of society. You need the NGOs as well as the development community who all provide um, both information as well as um, incentives to help either in the design or e implementation of the policy. The other lesson that was very clear is that a refit policy is not um, a standalone policy. It requires an enabling environment. If you define a very nice refit policy, but the envi investment environment is not conducive to international investors for those targeting international investors, or is, does not lend itself to the work of community groups owning power plants, then you've simply not um, provided the right environment for implementation. And so based on those lessons, we had recommendations. And the first recommendation that we would like to make is engagement. We need to engage everybody across the various interest groups. And this is not only in the design process, but also in the implementation process. And so engagement is a huge part of it. If you leave out one part of um, the stakeholders, you're going to come up with a feed-in tariff that doesn't, or a policy that doesn't, um, is not executed as planned. 